Hi, welcome to this die, die Designer video tutorial. For this video, we will be looking at Jurgen's Rust Button, Rust Buttons, and Jig Feet, um, or JE from the command line. And um, yeah, just to run you through this a little bit, JE, it brings up the dialog box. Um, we have a few different options. We have um, first our size options, which is uh, head diameter, head length. Um, we have our styles. Um, currently, we're looking at the rest buttons, but there's the jig feet and there's the flat feet. We have this in millimeters or inches. And um, our different pro, uh, plan view, x-ray view, profile view. And yeah. So we also have a help uh, file system. So click help. And uh, description, um, inserting Jergens rust button, jig feet, and flat feet into, de into your design. Uh, the command line JE, the menu location, uh, the intelligence, uh, bill of materials, object transform, whole table, and then the touch command. Couple notes, um, the rest buttons, not the jig feet or the flat feet, are the unground type, which leaves grinding material over the catalog length that is in the... Um, over here in the dialog box. I think it's like 10 or 15 thou oversized. So you tweak it in to the tool maker can tweak it to what it needs to be. Um, all these jerkins may be ground to an exact required head height during die assembly, such as when using four spring stripper balancers, which is how I use these um, is, is for balancers for a spring stripper. Uh, we have the video demonstration button, which will bring up this YouTube video should you want to watch it a second time. So yeah, let's get started here. I am going to, well, I'm going to cancel out of here. I'm going to draw my side view first. Usually draw a side view first, then you know what your parameters are set for, for putting in the plan view. And if I get this distance from the face that we're going to mount these on, on the stripper, to the top of the die block, if you look, it's 252 thousandths. So, JE, we're going to go to the flat feet. We're going to go with the 250 head height, with the 625 head diameter, and it will be in the profile view. We are going to insert these off point, so I'll snap to the edge of the stripper yoke, the direction, and let's call it a half inch in, and then the direction to the face of the head. And yeah, there are drew it in. If you'll notice, we got our two thou gap for balance when materials in the die, uh, and. This side view is showing it with O30 material. Um, you know what? I'm going to move this a half inch. And usually, usually I will, if a catalog item, if a catalog item that's purchased gets altered, I will usually detail the change dimension on that catalog item. In this instance, um, you know, we got by with that catalog dimension of 250 and we got a 2000 scap with material for balance. So I would just put a, um, a note on this cross section, start the leader command, kill the leader command, start it again. And then point point and put a note there for the tool makers. Uh, you know, two thousand material for balance, so so they know what they're what they're dealing with. But yeah, based on that, we can put our um, our rust buttons in. So JE, we will put it in in the plan view and. 
I will insert it off point, off the center of this subliner. I'm going to use the touch command to start this again. Off point, one inch. Off point, one inch. Off point, one inch. Off middle, one inch. Copy it over, let's say, two inches and two inches and erase that original. Copy these two guys up. Yeah, so now we have eight of uh, these uh, flat feet uh, for stripper balance in the plan view. So we can now balloon them. And we will use the split leader balloons, or LB. Balloon number three, since I already have a couple balloons in there. From a previous video. And we will link this. We'll select it, because it's got that bill of materials information in it. And uh, yeah, we're going to run the bill of materials. Now it's going to grab all these items that have been ballooned. So we got the spring, uh, we got the unified screw plug behind the spring, and then what we're dealing with right now is the, uh, the Jergens rest button and jig feet and flat feet and all that stuff. So come down here so you can see it pop up real quick. Dimensions, bill of materials, BM. Yeah, and there you go. We got our existing components, uh, the, the Danley Springs, the unified screw cap, and then the uh, what we just put in, the Jergens uh, rust, uh, flat feet, three, uh, detail 3.8 required, purchased, and then the ordering information. So yeah, kind of cool. Show you a little bit more. I'm going to copy this guy out. I am going to show you what these things transform into, but before I do that, um, I am going to put a couple different ones in. Let's put this big monster one in here in the plan view. And that this is a flat foot, this is a jig foot, and now let's go with the rust button with a 375 uh, head diameter. So yeah, now we can transform these. Now, I'm transforming them as like individual items. Normally, these would be transformed, in this case, on this stripper yoke at the detail level. When we went to detail it, we'd transform it along with everything else that was on this. Uh, but I'm just showing you these specific components. So we'll do an object transform. And you'll see the flat, or the flat foot tap hole, uh, the jig foot to a tap hole for the socket head cap screw. This was a flat head cap screw. And then the press fit is the, uh, is the hole for the press fit diameter. So we will dimension hole table or HD, select, select the three items. They get labeled and then we'll put plop our whole data down so yeah our a hole is that 1032 thread our b hole is the three eight uh our b hole is the drill and tap for five eights eleven thread and then the c is uh the 375 hole through press fit rest button so yeah i hope you like this video um it, kind of simple, you know, re really kind of simple putting these jig jig feet and rust buttons in. But you know what? It, it, it should be simple. Um, the design itself is hard enough. Um, you shouldn't be scratching around, scratching your head for components. Um, it, it should be very intuitive. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.